Hey YouTube, Eric here with the Hobby Farm Guys. Today, I take a closer look at the Merino sheep breed, known for having the softest wool of any sheep. Don't go away. Popular worldwide, and particularly famous in Australia and New Zealand, the Merino sheep breed has its beginnings in Spain. Historians believe that the Berbers, a North African tribe, brought sheep into Spain sometime before the 13th century. Genetic studies show that the Merino breed was probably created as a result of crossing churro ewes with rams of other breeds, including Italian rams, English rams, and North African rams. These early flocks and wild mufflin sheep would lay the foundation of the Merino sheep breed and form the basis of Spain's wool industry for centuries. For the next 400 years, Spain dominated the fine wool industry, exporting merino wool to the rest of Europe. This monopoly was so lucrative that until the 18th century, taking a merino sheep out of the country was a capital crime, punishable by death. The Napoleonic Wars ended Spain's monopoly on the fine wool industry, and the sheep were distributed throughout Europe, and then across the globe. Merino sheep arrived in Australia in 1788 and in the United States in 1802. Numerous recognized breeds, strains, and variants have developed from the original type. These include, among others, the American Merino and Delane Merino in the Americas, the Australian Merino, Brurula Merino, and the Pepper Merino in Oceania. Merino tend to be smaller than other sheep, but their coats are nearly three times as thick. Most Merinos are of medium size with white legs and face. They can be found pulled or horned, with horned sheep having spiraling horns that grow close to their heads. Most have some wool that grows on their face as well. The breed stands about two feet tall at the shoulder, on average, and larger individuals can weigh up to 230 pounds or more. Males generally reach larger sizes than females, and one feature that merinos are known for is their skin folds. Typically, the larger the merino, the more skin folds it's going to have. However, these are considered undesirable because they can harbor bacteria and cause discomfort. Merino sheep are a tough, resilient bunch and can survive in geographies and climates in which other sheep can't. They can be found thriving in freezing highlands and in sweltering heat as a result of their remarkable wool, which we'll talk about in a minute. The breed is also known for its exceptional foraging abilities. They are adaptable and hardy, and while they don't necessarily live longer than other sheep breeds, they are much more productive for much longer, with ewes often providing up to 12 years of good wool production. The fleece is dense and even, with each ram shearing about 25 pounds of wool and females shearing up to 20 pounds. And when it comes to wool, that's where the merino excels. The thinner the wool fiber is, the softer, lighter, and more versatile it becomes. Merino wool is some of the thinnest out there. And with superfine merino, only a quarter of the width of a single human hair, this unique thinness makes merino wool exceptionally soft, as long, fine fibers can bend more readily than traditional wool. Being so fine, they also don't itch, and the highest grade merino wool is comparable to cashmere. Unlike cashmere, though, merino wool can be thrown into a washing machine, which is a great bonus. Merino wool can be bent 20,000 times before breaking. For comparison, cotton fiber breaks after approximately 3,000 bends. Merino wool is an active fiber which reacts to changes in temperature, and the same process which allows these sheep to live in the sweltering heat or at the top of a mountain keeps you cool when it's warm and warm when it's cool. But merino wool really shines when it comes into contact with water. The inner core of merino fiber can absorb 35% of its own weight in moisture. Not until wool is saturated with 60% of its own weight will it feel wet to the touch. Water droplets on the surface of merino wool will bead and roll off instead of being absorbed into the fabric. This also makes it stain resistant and allows sweat to evaporate, thus diminishing odor. If you opt for merino, you will have to shear them, usually twice but at least once a year because their wool never stops growing. Frequent shearing produces better quality wool and is better for the health of the sheep. Merino, being smaller, are not typically raised for meat, though some strains have been bred to be meatier. Due to their thick wool coats, they can also be susceptible to fly strike. Like other sheep, merinos are herd animals and need other sheep, 
Generally, a flock of at least five is recommended. Alpacas and goats can stand in as companions, but sheep are going to be the best. So if you're looking for wool production, you'll definitely want to take a good look at the Merino, the gold standard in wool production. Hardy, thrifty, and docile, this sheep has earned its place as one of the most popular sheep breeds on the planet. Are they right for you? Let us know what you think about Merino sheep or what you think the hobby farm guys should talk about in upcoming videos. If we've earned it, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and it makes it easy for you to always find your go-to source for hobby farm wisdom. Thanks everyone. Happy hobby farming.